I did a record last year that was released this year called Coward. And uh, without going into why it's called Coward, I will say that it's an overdub record. So it's me playing with myself. And uh, something I've been thinking about doing for well over 20 years. So I went into a little studio uh, called Catasonic in Los Angeles, California, with my friend Mark Wheaton for about five days. Uh, with about 36 instruments, acoustic and electric guitars, 12 string, 6 string, prepared guitars where I uh, put alligator clips or false bridges or, or things um, on the acoustic guitars to get different sounds. I played uh, uh, the Quintronics drum buddy. The sounds are created by light emitted from holes punched in a spaghetti can that's on a turntable. <laughs> Shifting gears between these cer certain styles or sensibilities or disciplines is pretty easy for me. I think it might have something to do with the guitar. For example, I'm in New York right now playing with a violinist friend named Jenny Scheinman, uh, along with another great guitar player, uh, uh, Steve Cardenas. <laughs> actually rehearsed, which was just liberating. So, and I go straight from this to Wilco, and I'm actually gonna have to sit down, I think, and uh, rethink some of the uh, Wilco repertoire, so I don't just walk in and just have huge mental lapses, but generally it's easy. <laughs> Besides the Wilco DVD and record and this coward thing we were talking about of mine, numerous recordings that I've played on have just all come out around this time or are about to come out. Uh, a recording with a saxophonist here in New York City named Stephen Gauchi just came out called Red Feast. I have a duo recording with the LA guitarist G.E. Stinson. Oh, the acoustic guitar trio Vignus just came out in Italy. That's a live recording of my old acoustic guitar trio with Rod Poole and Jim McCauley. I'm not one of those people, I'm not driven, I'm not like trying to cheat death or anything. I just, uh, I like to play and I like to play with people I like, uh, but I also like to sleep. It's kind of sensual to sleep. I like it, I like bed. <laughs> and it's like if you've ever seen the movie Zardoz. Zardoz, Zardoz speaks to you. Charlotte Rampling looks at Sean Connery sleeping in a cage. He wakes up and she says, why do you do it? And he says, I have dreams. <laughs> <laughs>